guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you a review of one of the birthday presents I got obviously today my birthday and uh, this will be uploaded in like a couple days or something but as of right now it is my birthday and before I record my birthday haul what we're going to be showing you guys is I actually got a new set of side plates. Now the side plates for the WWE Replica Championships are interchangeable and all of the Universal and the WWE Championship take the same side plates. Obviously you guys have seen whoever the champion is on TV has their own set of side plates on its championship now instead of a name plate. So as you can see on my current WWE Championship I have some Seth Rollins side plates. I bought these a few months back and obviously as a birthday present I sort of went all Daniel Bryan out this year I got a Daniel Bryan yes 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 t-shirt so what went with it as well was a set of Daniel Bryan yes 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 side plates now the reason I went with the yes 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 ones instead of the new Daniel Bryan side plates is because those of you that know it is my most popular video on my channel and probably the reason why I've gained about 500 subscribers in the last month I already made the eco-friendly WWE Championship, which has the newer style side plates on them. Therefore meaning I don't want to actually have the new Daniel Bryan side plates because they're pretty pointless. They were on TV for about, I don't know, a month. And I guess if Daniel Bryan's ever going to be WWE Champion again, he's just going to pull back the WWE eco-friendly championship. <clears throat> I can only assume. So. What we're going to do now, guys, is I'm going to show you these Daniel Bryan side plates in depth. Here is what they look like in the box. And we're going to get in depth on these so I can show you them whilst in box. And then we're going to put them on my championship. So, let's go. Well, here is the box for the Daniel Bryan championship. It feels quite cool. It's got like a, um, like it feels quite sticky um, on the top. It's like this is a sticker. Uh, it's not but it does feel that way. Um, but this is the box. I get all of my WWE Championships and stuff used. So for example, I got this used for 150 pounds and I got these used, I believe, uh, for my birthday, they were about 40 pounds on eBay. And yeah, because WWE shops prices are really, really like high. So you're better off finding stuff secondhand. Um, as long as it's in good condition, it's worth it. So lifting it up, this box is battered. Uh, the eBay seller did say, this box is ripping and it's not very good. However, the plates are normal. They do have fingerprint marks on them, obviously from me. But here are the yes, yes, yes side plates. These are awesome, ladies and gents. They are big. If you look at them, they are about the size of my hand. Uh, maybe just, or like, you know, the palm of my hand. And yeah, they are just, you know, normal WWE side plates, what you would expect. So let's get them out of the box. So the box, ladies and gents, on the inside has got like foam. Uh, which is really cool. It, you can feel it's protective. This is coming apart, uh, but it, the foam you can tell if this was thrown with the side plates inside, uh, the box would get absolutely battered. But the side plates would most likely, nine times out of ten, be safe. So that's enough out of the box. Put that little latch down and move it off to the side. Here are the yes, yes, yes side plates. Now, one thing that has always bothered me about these side plates is Daniel Bryan doesn't wear elbow pads. So someone please tell me why they put elbow pads on the Daniel Bryan arms doing the yes pose. It's really strange, but I don't know. Um, and another thing that's quite noticeable about this is the red on the WWE Championship belt nowadays, re-leathered by Wildcat belts, the 2018 version of it. They have updated the swoosh on the bottom of it, this thing, right here. They've updated it so it's a brighter red. However... The WWE Championship, when you saw the Daniel Bryan side plates, uh, these ones on it for a period of time after he turned here, I believe they were on there for two weeks, um, it had the brighter red, which is cool, but, and it matches up perfectly. The red is exactly the same as this, but it is significantly noticeable when you put it on this championship that the shades of red are very different. Um, they're still very cool, but it's obvious that they're not the same red, and for people that you know, get annoyed by stuff like that, such as me, it is a bit, oh, well, that's a bit disappointing. But nonetheless, the side plates are magnificent. So with, that's literally my little in-depth review of the side plates. They're all 3D. Obviously, you can see it's not too thick, but it's definitely 3D. You can feel it. Um, but yeah, let's get these side plates 
onto my championship. So we're about to put the Daniel Bryan side plates on and it is time to say goodbye to these Seth Rollins side plates. Uh, obviously what I do is I don't really represent it as current champion, I just sort of put the side plates on like who I think would like to sue it at the time. Um, but yeah, the Seth Rollins ones have been on there for a while now. We're going to open this up and obviously you can see the generic side plates uh, that are battered and they've got missing red bits so we're just going to get rid of these so we can actually put the Daniel Bryan ones on move these to the side move this out of the way flip this over and now we're going to do a time lapse of me changing out the side plates Here are the Daniel Bryan side plates on the 2014 version of the WWE Championship replica belt and these side plates were only featured on the real version of this title once and it was for only a short period of time, I believe around two weeks and as I was talking about ladies and gents, obviously the colour change. So I was saying earlier on in the video that this was a bright red and this was a dark red. Now on the camera, due to the lighting, it doesn't look too different. You can definitely see there's a difference, but it doesn't look too different. Uh, this looks quite brighter than it actually is. Um, but in person, there is a significant difference. Um, in this shot right here, when I do this, this is how it looks in person. This lighting is correct to how the color is. Obviously, bright red, dark red. Um, but yeah, well obviously once I move it back up top, it gets a bit brighter. But yeah, these side plates are pretty awesome. I am glad that I've got them. Now we're gonna move on to the front camera again so that you can see what they look like on shoulder. So here is the over shoulder shot with the Daniel Bryan side plates. You can see they are on there um, and they look good. So yeah, definitely recommend if you're into side plate collecting, definitely go for some Daniel Bryan ones. Obviously, um, these Daniel Bryan side plates were more significantly seen on the old big logo, 2013 rock belt uh, that was debuted. The, you know, the initial WWE Championship design before it was upgraded to this one with the network logo. They were seen on that a few times. They've been only seen on this championship um, in particular once and that was only for around a couple weeks. Uh, so when Daniel Bryan won the championship, um, then when he turned hill, obviously, for the big hill turn. And then, uh, as you guys remember, he actually walked around with no side plates on while his new ones were being developed. But these Daniel Bryan side plates, once again, look awesome. Um, I love them. You guys, I am sure you'll love them as well. So yeah, that was my sort of little review of the Daniel Bryan side plates. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a like comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.